for all of those Muslims that donated to this man. He insults your prophet Jesus. And you gullible fools pray for him. I beg God to send the Holy Spirit. So I said, so you're begging to become a Christian? And he said, no. So who does he think the Holy Spirit is? Answer the question. I know you're a Muslim, sir. So I'm not lying about your book, am I? Thank you very much. So now we've, one second. Now we've established I'm not lying. Deal with my argument. But what you're saying. So if the Father is equivalent to Allah, then Jesus is saying that Allah will not judge anyone. He will. So Let us ask ourselves some the of faith, the stupid things that Muslims say about the Christian yeah. faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some 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 that, because go the these are the yeah. kinds of things that you will hear yeah. in the park okay. so said by Muslims Muhammad. about yeah. Christianity. Every week. Yeah. Now I want to be clear, yeah. not yeah. all yeah. Muslims yeah. are this yeah. ignorant. What? Many Who Muslims are quite intelligent, even the most of them. But the Muslims you will meet in this park yeah. are ignorant. Yes, yes. Example number one. Muslims say Christians believe in three gods. How many Muslims have heard that being said? The Christians believe in three gods. But I would challenge to any Muslim, any Muslim, can you just... Show me Muslims where my book teaches me to believe in three gods. Because I see exactly the opposite. I see exactly the opposite. So, for example, in Isaiah 45, verse 18 and 19, it says, For thus says the Lord who created the heavens, He is the God who formed the earth and made it. He established it and did not create it. A waste place, but I formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is none else. So the Christian faith teaches a belief in one God. But Muslims in the park will tell you that Christians believe in three gods. Why? 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 Because because the Quran makes them ignorant. Exactly. They have to believe the Quran. And the Quran says, yes. say not three, yes. for Allah is one God. Yes! So we come to us with one God, with three gods. Allah is wrong, and it makes Muslims ignorant of the Christian faith. Can you answer to him? Can you answer to him? He's got nothing. He's got nothing to answer. So then they say to us, "Here's another stupid thing." What about Jesus when he said, "Bring my enemy and kill of them in front of me"? Okay, so let's go. Good word. Let's go with that word. Good word. You know what the problem is? Yes, yes, yes. The Holy Spirit. Read your book yes, more than you. Kill, kill the enemy with the Holy Spirit. It is your son. That's why we don't he fight Jesus. Like That's why we don't fight Jesus. That's why we don't fight Jesus. We are killing him. We are killing him. And notice the manners. Yes, yes, yes. Notice how they are killing the Holy Spirit. And doesn't want to hear the answer. Jesus is saying. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord! Who is the pagan? Allah Jesus. was a pagan! There you go again! Jesus. He insults Jesus! 
Believe me, you have nothing to say. You have nothing to say. Come on, you have to. You have to. All of those Muslims that donated for this man, he insults your prophet Jesus. And you gullible fools pay for him. When you bring anything, you have to bring it to the people. Oh, we have to. The people is this man. Come on, man. Don't speak. We have proof. Let these guys talk to one another. We have proof that Muhammad. So, other things that Muslims say about the Christian faith, that he's ignorant. Yes, other things that are ignorant. He had a son. Brother, I want to pray for you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that you be well. 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 Oh, this is what no. you are no. This is so, what other no. ignorant things that Muslims no. say about Christianity. No. No. Muslims say no. this is the that we the confuse no. the father no. with the son. Yeah. When they say, how can the son be God? No. And how can he also be the son of God? That's the kind of ignorant thing that Muslims say to one another. However, Christians don't believe any such thing. We believe that the Father and the Son have been eternally divine from ages past. Yes. to ages future exactly. with no beginning and no end when we say that Christ is the Son of God it is shorthand for saying that Christ is the Son of the Father and to those who are uninitiated they confuse these two things when we say that Christ is God and when we say that Christ is the Son of God we are saying two nuanced statements that are different of course one we are saying Christ is divine that's right and the other we are saying Christ is divine in relation to the Father why? And why? then why? Muslims say, yes, but where is this equality? Where yes. does Jesus say, I am God, worship me? Yes. Well, I'll tell you where. Oh, listen, listen. And if you're the kind of Muslim who said, show me this and I'll become a Christian, then it's time for you to come to the park so I can baptize you exactly. here in the park. Listen, Jesus said, not even the Father judges anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son, so that all honor the Son even as they honor the Father. The Father is God. How do you honor God? You honor God by giving him your life, your soul, your energy, your resources. You give and spend your life in jihad for him, as you would say in Islam. Jesus says, Honor the Son as you honor the Father. If you honor the Father as God, how then should you honor the Son? Except as God. So Jesus introduces Trinitarian language. Father and Son. And then he says, honor the Son as you honor the Father. If you honor the Father as God, you honor the Son as God. You would not honor God as you honor a prophet. That can't be what Jesus is saying. He's saying honor the Father as you honor the Son as you honor the Father. 
if you give your life and wealth and energy and time and resources to God. Jesus is saying, do that to him. Yes. Do that to him as the son of the father. He's saying that the father has given judgment to him. Yes. That the father will not judge anyone. So if the father is equivalent to Allah, then Jesus is saying that Allah will not judge anyone. He will. And who is judged but God? And Jesus is saying, if you honor the father, honor the son in the same way. Yes. God and Jesus. Who's greater? Good. Who's greater? In terms of who is greater. In terms of who is greater. What does he need a term? In terms of who is greater. The Christian faith teaches that Christ did not last at equality with God. In other words, he had equality with God. And you can find this statement in Philippians chapter 2. In the common Christie, notice they don't want to. Let me answer the question. Don't be rude to him. Was Jesus created? No. No. Who's bigger? So, Christ did not grasp at equality with the Father, but when he became a man, he took on the form of a servant, and so. We find in scripture passages where Christ prays to the Father. Where Christ says, all things I do as the Father does, and I do nothing of myself, but as I see the Father do. We see Christ praying to the Father. Don't be violent. So, to stand off the answer, Christ had Boy, equality Robert. with the Father. I am not happy. Uh, but Boy, then yeah. when he becomes a man, Boy, yeah, when he becomes a man, then he takes on the form of a servant. Go on, brother, you wanted to ask Liar. him. What is the Holy Trinity? Liar, so he asks, what is the Holy Trinity? Liar, so this allows me to talk about two of the stupid things that the Muslim Dawa team in the park talk about. Let's just be clear about what the Trinity is not. The Trinity is not a belief in three gods. And anyone who tells you it is, is lying to you or, or ignorant. This is a pagan God. The father of Muhammad, the father of Muhammad, in the time of ignorance, in the time of ignorance, was called Abdullah, which means slave of Allah, which means that Allah was a pagan God. Pagan God. A pagan God. He was a pagan God. God. Because Muhammad's father was called Abdullah before Muhammad became a prophet. So he is chanting to a pagan god. So that so in answer to this brother's question, once again, because of the rudeness of the Muslim, I will take a side step to the left. So so, in answer to this brother's question, <laughs> don't be aggressive. I'm sorry that you have to witness this. But unfortunately, this particular Muslim Dawa team behaves like this every week. And he does this because his religion has not taught him any good manners. Who's the pagan? Jesus, yeah, don't so, begging, yes. once Jesus, again, yeah, don't I apologize, but I'll take a step to the left. 
Allah Hopefully Allah. at some point the brother might get the message. Allah. No one is interested in your pagan no God. Jesus, yeah, no. So, let's hear Brother Bob. No Jesus, yeah, don't give. So, ladies and gentlemen, you what is the Trinity? Layla. You're being rude to this brother. You're being rude to your own. I'm guessing you're a Muslim. You're being rude to another Muslim. So, Liar, yeah, what is the key. Trinity? Let's be clear about what the Trinity is. You liar! This is it isn't this a belief is in many gods. Go, yeah, donkey! <laughs> it isn't a belief <laughs> that the Father is the Son. Liar! Or that the Son is the Father. Or that either of these two or the Holy Spirit. Allah Christians believe in oh. one God pagan, yeah? who Jesus has existed yeah, yeah. eternally yeah. as Father, Jesus Son yeah. and Holy Spirit. Amen. And we worship the Father, Son and Holy Spirit Liar. as one Liar. God. Liar. That is our belief. Liar. Can I ask another question? Yeah, of course you can. How can Liar. you talk about the Holy Spirit and just talk about Jesus and God only? What's no! The Muslim says, how come... You should be more pow as powerful, right? You Muslims say, oh, how come so you never talk about the Holy Spirit? Why do you only talk about the Father and Jesus? Mm. I would suggest to him, I would suggest to him that he needs to hang out with more Christians. Yes. yes. And he needs to actually visit a church. Mm. Because yeah. we as Christians yeah. talk about the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit all of the time. I'm, I'm Don't project your ignorance onto us. I've begged many times. Though. How come he hasn't sent the Holy Spirit to me? Sorry? He hasn't sent the Holy Spirit to me. I've begged God many times. For many years. So you're begging to become a Christian? No, I'm begging. Oh, he's not begging, begging, begging to begging become a Christian. Begging to find the truth. Begging to find the truth. According to a Muslim who is the Holy Spirit? No, no, no. I'm being neutral. Yeah, but when you cry out to God, God, God because no, you're no, saying, no, hold on. Just think about what you're saying because you're trying to play semantics and you think I can't catch you. You're wrong. What you're saying is, I beg God to send the Holy Spirit. So I said, so you're begging to become a Christian? And he said, no. So who does he think the Holy Spirit is? Answer the question. Who do you think the Holy Spirit is? This is what I meant. This is what I meant. I meant to ask God for guidance find the truth. So you didn't ask God to send the Holy Spirit? Well he should naturally, isn't it? No, he no, no. The right way. The you say, so you didn't, so what, you lied earlier. No, no, when you no said, if I'm God send God, the Holy Spirit. I'm ask God for guidance, you should send the Holy, okay, Holy Spirit. Okay, right? I'm not going to get caught up into a silly so, argument. You didn't say logical. what you claim to say. Logical. I think that's, that's obvious to anyone. No, it isn't logical at all. It isn't the logical. The is that just because you say you wish that to happen, but then why does the church no, no, in pure, in pure, 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 brother, pure Christian logic, that's not true. That's more Islamic, what you're saying. Brother, no. Brother, in the Christian faith, sincerity of heart no. is important. In fact, sincerity of heart is fundamentally important exactly. in all of our actions, in all of our beliefs, in all that we do. Mm. Sincerity of heart is fundamentally important. And you did not sincerely. And I don't believe. I don't believe. I don't believe. I don't believe. I, I, I agree with him. I don't believe that you're sincere in that claim. Because you just claimed to me that you said, I asked God to send the Holy Spirit. And then when we examined that, we found that that was not what you said. So you were insincere about your words. Insincere. I was mistaken. What I meant to say is, I asked God for guidance. Whatever religion is the truth, I ask that to God. Mm -hmm. you understand? Yeah. So I didn't say God sent the Holy Spirit. I don't know what the Holy Spirit was. So why would I ask that? So, brother, for those that are sincere, God will speak. God will speak yeah, for those I, that I are think, sincere. I think that Christianity yeah. has got a lot of goodness in it. Let me ask you this question. Has Allah spoke to you? Um, what has God said to me? Yes. Yes. Well, I believe... Uh, oh, this God is Caroline. Nice to meet you, Caroline. I believe Islam is the truth through God. He believes Islam is the truth through God. In other words, when he said, I asked God to show me the truth, what he really meant is, God, I already believe Islam is the truth. Show me that it's true. No, no, no. I, I tell you honestly. So Islam the truth or not? That wasn't my stuff. Is Islam the truth or not? For me, it is. It. Right. So is, is, in terms of what it, Allah says about the Christian faith, do you think it's accurate? Um, well, I'm not too sure. I'm not well versed in the Quran myself. 
But I can say some verses, like God says, at the end of the day, God says, I will judge the hearts, whether he's a Christian, Muslim, or a Jew, or a Hindu, or a whatever, he will judge the hearts. That's what it says in the Quran. So to me, that sounds very. Um, what he also says settling, in the Quran, settling. what he also says in the Quran, is if this were from any other than Allah, and when he says this, he's not talking to you, he's talking to me. And let me finish. You know what he also says in the Quran? And he says this to Christians and Jews, he doesn't say it to Muslims. He says, if this were from any other than Allah, you would find many errors therein. Right, yeah. So I've read a translation of the Quran. In fact, I've read multiple translations of the Quran. And the Quran accuses Christians of believing in three gods. Did anyone here hear me preach three my figures. faith three in figures. three gods? Three figures. It doesn't say three figures. No, but that's what it means. No, it doesn't. Because God doesn't need to explain. He doesn't no, it doesn't. God doesn't speak. What it says is say no, it says to Christians. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Let's be. No, it doesn't. What it actually says. What it no. Brother, I'm going to educate you because you've already admitted you're not very knowledgeable in the Quran. No, sometimes. No, I am going to educate you because Allah is speaking to the Alim Al Kitab. He's talking to Jews and Christians. Jews and Christians. If you could show for a second, I'll educate you. Allah was speaking to Jews and Christians. Jews and Christians in the 7th century believed in one God in three persons. Allah says, say not three, for Allah is one God. In other words, he is contrasting the divinity of the one of monotheism to the supposed polytheism of Christians. And early Muslim polemicists who were far closer to Muhammad in time and space argued against Christians as if we believed in three gods. Why? Because they understood the Quran to be saying that. The Quran was wrong. It is in error. It wasn't from God. It's not from a prophet. When God talks about three gods, when Islam talks about three gods, Islam already knows that you know God is greater than the other two. But you, God is saying, don't associate with God. God's alone. Did you just say, did you just try to imply I believe in three gods? No. I'm saying Islam's telling you, don't associate the other two with him. Don't, don't. Everyone knows, even Muslims. Which are the two? Jesus and the Holy Spirit. No, that's not what the Quran says. That's what it that is to not what the Quran it, says, it nor does it translate that to. No, I'll use the Quran because the Quran says. No, the Quran says. It tells a narration at the end of time. Allah speaks to Jesus and he says, "Did I say to you, Jesus, to take to tell the people to take yourself and your mother as gods beside Allah?" Mm. That is the Trinity. That is the three that the Quran thinks that Christians believe in. The Quran got it wrong. The Quran never associates the Holy Spirit as part of the three of the Trinity that it is condemning. It gets the Trinity wrong. It thinks that the Trinity is Allah, Mary his consort and Jesus their son. That is the three that it's saying don't associate with Allah. And it is wrong because Christians don't make that association. Our scriptures don't make that association. Our councils don't make that association. Our faith doesn't teach that association. Allah is wrong. The Quran is in error. And according to Allah, if it was from any other than Allah, it would be in error. Because and it's it an error married. according Jesus to the Quran, it's not from Allah. Learn your Quran. Right, so the Quran gets it wrong. Is it from God according to the Quran? The Quran says that the three that are associated.
associated with Allah or Allah, Mary and Jesus. That's what the Quran says. That is a passage in the Quran. The Quran condemns that association. It condemns that association. Loads of people can get that. Okay, bring out the passage. It's a well known the reference? You pull it up. No, you so, it's your other My question to you. Are you afraid? Are you making up stuff? My Bring it out. My question to you. That is what the Quran clearly says. Yeah? Honestly, like, he's not not bringing it up. Did I tell you to tell the people to associate me and your brother as God's beside Allah? That could be a warning. If it's God is telling you, to who? To who is that warning aimed? To mankind. Except that who is he talking to when he condemns this three? He's talking to the Alim al Kitab. You know what? You know what's interesting? Is you don't want to deal with what the Quran says. You want to change what you take out. Take out the Quran. Take out the verse. That's why. But that's why there's so many sections in Islam. But the Muslim have to interpretation. A scholar, a commentator, a scholar is the guy who knows the Quran by heart. He knows the history. You've got the commentator. He is saying from the Quran. Yeah. The heart is. He is saying from the Quran. You know, uh, you as a Muslim should know that the Quran. Yeah, I did, brother. Hold on one second. God says in the Quran. What does he say? Many versions of the Quran. Yeah. Don't you have sense? Don't you have sense? What the fuck? Just embrace you. Right. Exactly. So using every human is like a scholar, right? So using my sense, using my sense, and the acid test given by Allah in His own book, I have concluded. Yeah. that the Quran is not from Allah and the reason why I've concluded and the reason why I've concluded that it is not from Allah is because the Quran says if it was in error it wouldn't be from Allah I find errors in the Quran therefore it is not from Allah I know what he wants you to do are you denying are you stood there denying that that's what the Quran says I at the moment Ask you one question. You yeah, you said bring forward your evidence. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. I don't have my Quran on me today. Okay. I can bring it to you next week. Okay. But I would ask you, are you stood there right now saying that the Quran doesn't have this narrative in it? I believe that you have a misinterpretation of what the Quran says. I have a misinterpretation yep. of the, what the Quran yep. says. So the Quran doesn't say to Jews and Christians, mm -hmm. say not three for Allah is one God. It doesn't say that. I'm saying that the idea that you derive from that, from however you interpreted the book, is a misconception. According to who? Your, in, your, your conception of what it says. According to me and what I believe that... So, so what you're saying is, your conception trumps my conception, is that right? To an extent. Right, so let's look at how early Muslim scholars uh, used to make polemics against the Christian faith. Cool, Yeah. Sure. How did early Muslim scholars, did they come to us and go, guys, you're worshipping one God in the wrong way, or did they say, you guys are confused, you think that three gods are one God and one God is three, or you believe in three gods? What, 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 what arguments did early Muslims use against early Christians? Well, I think that there are many three arguments. Three gods is three figures Islamically. No, no, no. I think there are no, many, that's not there are many arguments, but the argument that I'm familiar with is that by believing that, that God has three parts, which no, is that's the not whole, what we believe. The Holy, the Holy Spirit. We don't believe that. We the believe Son that. and the, the yeah, Father. Yeah, you got that totally right? wrong. We don't believe in three parts of God. Okay, well, then what is it? Right. What is so, the three, Holy Trinity? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What, isn't the right. Holy Trinity? But I thought your book accurately described my beliefs. Okay, I, I am at the moment. I don't have the book with me, but I'm of asking you. Of course you do. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. You, have, you believe in a Holy Trinity, right? Right. So there are three before parts. Before we get to that, within God. Hold on. Right? Before we get to that, before we get to that, remember that our topic of conversation is the full-blown stupid mistake in the Quran that's what we're talking about Whoa. now you're saying Whoa. you're saying that the Quran doesn't make mistakes so I want you to use your Quran to describe my beliefs to me because your Quran attempts to describe my beliefs to me so what does your Quran say about my beliefs for, for me to use my religion, your Quran, my Quran, your perfect book, my perfect your book, amazing book, to describe your religion, yes, would not be absolutely necessary because of, oh, because of a be reason, necessary. because of a reason, because it's not in error. 
because your religion changes over time, no, whereas no, no. mine doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, 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 no. Don't let him change you the topic. Are, you have it. He's running away. I'm not running, running away. away. I'm here. You are, you are running away because you're changing the topic. I'm not quickly. changing the topic. You're changing the topic. I'm telling you. You're, you're making. You're, you're trying to distract. My, my religion is for no. is to guide people. No, you're, you're trying to give an So let me let me address this point. Let me address this point because firstly, 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 he's thrown up a red herring. What we're talking about is the herring? silly mistake in the Quran, and now he wants but to talk about the history of religion. Oh, oh, that's no, what really he wants no, to do. No, no, no. But, 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 I'll do both. I will 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 do both. So he said, so he said that Islam never changes. Well, that's a lie. It is a complete lie. Because at the time of Muhammad, there wasn't a book called the Quran. Everything. It wasn't compiled into a book. That came later. And there weren't collections of hadiths. They came later. And there weren't, there wasn't a, 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 a system of schools of law. That came later. And all of these developments are not justified in the Quran. He can't justify to me the use of hadiths in the Quran because there is no justification for them at all. His religion changed over time. However, 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 let's get back to the topic, the actual topic. The actual topic was the Quran. The actual topic. No, you were the one that brought it up, not me. You were the one that brought it up. No, I'm going to finish my point. I'm going, let let finish finish finish. I'm going to finish my point. I'm going to finish my point. I'm going to finish my point. So let's be clear. You were the one that brought up the red herring, not me. I've addressed it. Now I'm going to come back to the topic. Because the topic is your so-called perfect book, which is actually full of basic errors in its description of my belief, does attempt to describe my belief and if it is perfect it should do so accurately so use your book to describe my belief let's see if the Quran from Allah is actually right or not okay this is a fair, fair test, test. Okay. Okay. is it a fair, fair test, test. Yeah. okay okay if it's perfect it won't be wrong okay. yeah. if it's imperfect yeah. it will be yeah. it's a fair yeah. test so, that no, no. you're not bringing up any evidence of the verse that you started this argument with. So I would like you to bring it out, just for a sec. So, is there any Muslim here that is honestly denying that the Quran addresses Christians and says, Say not three, for Allah is one God. Am I lying, or is that in the Quran? And does it... Does it does no, I'm not lying. I'm lying. Does, am I right? It does say that. I know you're a Muslim, sir. So I'm not lying about your book, am I? Thank you very much. So now we've... One second. Now we've established I'm not lying, deal with my argument. But what you're saying... You're, what you're saying they were, they were in the Quran it says that the Christians associated Allah, Jesus and the Virgin Mary as with God. When we look, d does it say that? That's what the Quran says. Yes. Does it not? Does it not say? But what you just said to him. Yeah. What you just asked is totally So let, let me address that point. It, it, you said. Let, let me address that point. Okay. Address that. So point. we've established that the Quran does say, "Say not three, for Allah is one God." Okay. In other words, it is contrasting the belief in one God with a belief in three gods. That is an error. Christians don't believe that. That is why the Quran is an error. But then, how do we understand this what, this three? Who is it referring to? Well, we have to look at what else the Quran says in other passages. And in other passages, still addressing the Alim al Kitab, it gives a narration where. Where? 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 Right, right. It still addresses the Alim al Kitab and it says to Jesus, Allah says to Jesus, Did I tell you to take that you should teach the people to take yourself? and your mother as gods beside Allah. And then Jesus says, Stad, Allah, no, I didn't. Be it unto you, you alone are God. Or words is to those effects. That is in the Quran. So that is what the Quran understands to be the whole thing, brother. Is a Muslim. So it's there because Christians don't believe that. It's not the only understanding of the Can I just begin with He also says in a No offense, brother, but he seems to know your Quran better than you do. So maybe he should be defending your Quran. No, no, I know that. But you don't. Step aside, step aside. Maybe we should drink less coffee, bro.
yeah, yeah, so, yeah. right, let's let's do. The brother asks me, "What is the deal with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit?" So I'll deal with that very quickly. Christians believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now, please note, please note, we say Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, not Father, Son, and Mary, as the Quran does. So the Quran, Quran gets the Trinity wrong. And what we say about the Trinity is that they are one God. We don't say they are three as the Quran contrasts them. So the Quran is wrong on that point as well. No, 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 Yes, 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 yes. When you talk about the, the Holy Trinity, you are by necessity talking about three different things. And then you say that it's part of exactly. one thing. Hold on, no, hold, on. hold on, completely hold on. No, 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 let's be clear. Once again, you assert your Islamic presumptions onto my belief. You've just said, by necessity, these three are different. By necessity, no, that's no, utter no. rubbish. No, no, that's no, no, a philosophical no, fallacy. No. And also, incidentally, not, it's a straw man because we don't make that claim. If they were the same, then you would label them all the same. But exactly. they're different, and that's why you label exactly. them Brother, that's right. Brother, that's let me ask you this question. Right. Let me ask so you this question. So, so you're saying you're that saying you're saying plurality and unity can't exist? No, 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 Is that no, what no, you're no, saying? No, no, that's not necessarily no, true. No, are, are you saying that plurality and unity can't yes, exist? Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. no. Uh -huh. But there can be diversity and they can have unity. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, right. no, no. I'll prove this to you. You believe, you believe in how many Qurans? Is the Wash Quran a Quran? The Wash Quran. No, no, no. Is the Hafs Quran a Quran? We, we is the Duri Quran? No, no, no. Quran? These are all Qurans. Yeah. Muslims consider them to be one, yeah. but if you actually look at them, they're different. Yeah. They're, different. Yeah. they're three different texts, but you call them one Quran. So are they one Quran or three Qurans? You tell me. No, they're not the same word. But which one? Hafs, Wash, or Duri? Because Muhammad never saw any of them. Use anyone! Use anyone! The Hafs Quran is dated to the 10th century. That's three centuries after Muhammad. Muhammad never saw a Hafs Quran. That problem happens because of Arabic. By who? By who? By the Who was that? Not Muhammad, was it? No, 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 no. And what did he do with all the other Qurans? Burn. He burnt them. No, 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 no. Why burn them if they're all the same? Man. Yeah. Man. Yeah. He burned a group of the Quran because he knew, according to the text, according to the history, yes. there was a problem yes. with them. There yes. was a problem, yes. thank you. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Something Christians yes. have been telling Muslims in the past however, for years. However, these are, these are, these You've just admitted it. No, yes. these have been there were Qurans with problems in them at yes. the time of no, Uthman. No, 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 no. And Uthman chose your Quran for you, no, no. not Muhammad. No. Thank yes. you. Yes. That's what you just said. That's what you just said. Half of the Quran God has eaten. Validated by the Khalifas, including Ahlul Bayt, which is the family of the Prophet. Exactly. With the Prophet. They confirmed it. And are you a Sunni or a Shia? Do you agree no, no, with what Uthman did? Yes, Muslim. No, what Uthman did? Yes. I honestly believe that the, that the situation is much more deep and complex for me to come to that right. I am asking right you simply okay. if you agree with what Uthman did. How do you want me to, to agree or disagree if I don't know all of the variables? Do you think that Why he was right to destroy the Quran but course, disagreed with course. the one that he then yes, went on to publish? Of course. Oh. There is a mistake with the Quran that was published at that time so after the that. correct ones who were published before, after the correct ones were published in the first place, then I think that he but should... But I thought Allah was going anything. to preserve the Quran. It has been preserved. By Uthman, not by Allah. No, 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 not necessarily. By the Jews, all of the Khalifas were able to preserve the Which, which, so you agree with what Uthman did then? If there has if there were, if there was a mistake yeah, right? Because of a human error. Yeah. Not because of a god, because of a human error. You mean like the ones that were reproduced in 1924 that led to the recommission of the Hafs Quran? You mean like those kind of errors? Do you know why the 1924 version of the Quran was published? I bet you don't, do you? No, the, the Quran, ever since... Which Quran? The, the Hafs, the Wash or the Duri Quran? The Quran that was, what, that was written 50 years after the Prophet died. Because... He's not looking like your Quran, bro. Look, 
because you are making this division between all of the Qurans because well, you're well, I'm just trying to figure out no, which Quran you're talking about. The Hafsa Wash or the Dori. There's, there's only one. one. No, there's one not. Okay, show, them. Me them. Right. show me them. Show me them. You can go away. Uh, all yeah, of the Muslims here. Or the Muslims. There are like three different types of Qurans. Hafsa Wash and Dori. Have you heard of them? They are different versions, but thank you. Thank you very much. All different versions. They all the not my words. The one has the muta and the muta. Do they have different words? Different vowels and not my words. The words of a Muslim. Do they have different words? No. Yes, they do. Yeah. Yes, they do. Oh, I'll give you. Word against I'll give you. No, no. You, it is no, not my because, word against yes, this because I'm about uh, to give you scholarship. So you, I'm about to give you well, scholarship. I am going to give you scholarship. I am going to give you scholarship. I am going to give you scholarship. Yes, there is a I am going to give you scholarship. Brother, one second. Muta, Muta. Brother, Muta. One second. Let's stay on topic. There's a difference in Stay on topic. Stay on topic. Let's stay on topic. The brother. I bet you do. The brother. The brother said, the brother said, are you listening? The brother said that all the Qurans have the same words. That's what he said. And then he said, it's my word against his. No, it's not. I'm going to give you a book that you can buy today in Waterstones. Okay. On your bike, go and get the book. It's by a, guy, a gentleman called Dr. Keith E. Small. It's called textual. Oh, oh, it's not believable because it's a Westerner. <laughs> Oh, that's the reason why we can't Matt, believe it. One second, I haven't given you the title yet. I haven't given you the title yet. Go ahead. The title huh. is Textual Variants of Quranic Manuscripts. You can buy this book today and read it for yourself. What Keith E. Small does is he takes the 1924 version of the Quran produced in Saudi Arabia, not Saudi Arabia, in Egypt in 1924, and mass published by Saudi Arabia today and he compares it to the pamphlets that were found in Sana, Yemen and he compares these early fragments of the Quran to the 1924 version of the Quran used by most Muslims today and he notes the differences and those differences are differences in letters and words that have impact on the localized meaning of the sentence. Look. Name me one difference. Name me one difference. I yeah, don't have it on me. Uh, you can say oh. something. And Let then me give you. Back it up I've seven. given you the reference you to seven. go and seven. check it yeah. yourself. Listen, seven. Seven. I haven't just put it out yeah. there. Yeah. 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 I have given you the reference, the scholar in the book. Go and buy it and read it for yourself. The moment you were saying, you say before before it snowed, you said that there's snow, but you're not showing me the snow, right? So what you have to do is you Brother, have to actually I'm not show interested me. in your excuses. It's no excuse. I've given I'm you the you reference, the doctor and the book and you can buy it today. Okay, cool. You then why right. didn't you bring it with I'm you? I've just quoted it to you, argument. Argument. No, the one he just said. Was the one it? He said that you why didn't, didn't you bring it with you? What? For, if you because said, when I came today, I came to talk about a different topic, not this one. Okay, huh? Shami you know, Quran, Maki Quran, like Araki Quran. Have you got them? You they all have me? a different, uh, different. Uh, uh, what is this? This is your, so, your notes. <laughs> yeah, these are your notes. <laughs> yeah. These are your notes. Yeah. Apparently, notes nice. aren't believable. <laughs> they're not all lies. Yeah. Brother, yeah. Yeah. brother, so, so much. brother. We want facts. You, I think it was you. I hope it, the guy's not walked away. I think it's you. You've already said that there are different Dory half and wash. So we're not making this up, are we? Thank you. Yeah. So. He is a Muslim and he says that I'm not making it up. What? Did you get that? What did, you say? did you pay attention? Huh? So what's, what, what's not there are different versions. Okay. Are you listening? Uh, no. And these well, are the different, different versions. versions. Kufi, Busari, Shami, Makai. I think the Iraqi, they, you probably need yeah. to check that out. Iraqi, Iraqi. Do they have a different, uh, different uh, no. verses? I know they have number different yeah. it's not number of verses. They don't have different verses. Yeah, yeah. number of verses. How are they known? Oh, they don't have different verses. Oh. Oh. Yeah. As a language you are He says they have different dots. Yeah. Oh, wow. Now I'm not an expert on Arabic, but at one time I did try and study Arabic. It's not different dots. The Some, noon, the noon, the, the, the letter that looks like a boat. If I put two dots above that letter a, and two dots below the letter, does it change the letter? Yeah, but yes. Not, yes. Yeah. So would that yeah. change the, the word? Sound the will change. Would it yeah, change sound the sound word? Sound. It's not like the dots have been changed, but other in some books. The so dots they have different are there. dots, but they're not changed. No, no, no. Right, that the makes dots, sense. The dots are there in yeah. some books, and the other books they are not there because in the beginning, 
Arabic didn't even have that. I know. But then they so the text has changed then, hasn't it? It hasn't changed. Oh, it the hasn't changed. changed. No, they're not they're not so they inserted new. letters no. in a book that didn't have those letters, the and you're saying the text didn't change. Well, let's even. The language is not different. Brother, if I take a text if you're telling and then I insert letters into that text, that were not there before, I changed the text. That's just logical. You yeah. did not, they did not change the text. No, no, no. What, what, what are the, the vowels text? then? So they, they put letters into a text. They put no. No. So they didn't they put letters they into a text. No, no, no. So, so but, 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 but I'm confused, really. Uh, help me, yeah. help me, because yeah. you're really confusing me now. Okay, go ahead. You're confusing me. Because you're trying to say that they put letters into a text but then say they didn't change the text. So did they put letters into it, yes or no? Listen, they didn't put letters into it, but they refined the letters so that people can read them. So those but letters always existed then? The, the letters and the meanings and the sounds behind them did not change. Ha, one but second, rather, one it just second. made it easier for them one to second. read. No, this is not true. This is because true. You're, you're, you're making a logical fallacy. You're saying that oh, you can wow, insert wow, letters wow. into a text without changing the text. Yeah, that's already Anyone changed. with a when brain understands that that is a change. The letters have not changed. They've made it easier for them. So you're saying those letters existed before? Those letters were there the whole time. If they were there with the whole time, why did but they need to example, add them? But for example... That's me. That's me. Brother, you need to think again. What well, do you think makes it easier, my friend? Brother, change. have you got a You're saying that they did no, to make I'm it stronger. Really no, I'm not asking you. You're the strong noon, in your religion. Like I'm this, asking okay. if you've read a gospel. Before, it was difficult for foreigners to read the noon, yeah. right? Yeah. Because there wasn't that dot on top. There wasn't the dot. Yeah, so you now you're not, saying, make your mind up. Was the letter <laughs> there or not? The letter was there, but they put the dot for it for people to so read it. So in other words, right? they added the letter then? They didn't add the letter. Make they your added, mind up, they bro. added the sign yeah. for yeah. people yeah. to recognize the letter. Mate, what letter? You've just said, I can't make my mind up whether you're saying the letter was there or it wasn't there. Okay, okay, okay. Did listen, they add listen. the dot, yes or no? Listen, they added the dot. They added the dot. So they added the letter. No, no. They added a letter to the text. It's been changed, bro. It's your Muslim brother. The letter yeah. was added. No. Listen, Do you know what a textual variant is? Listen, listen. Let Do you me, know me what a textual variant is? Let, let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. Explain to me what a textual variant is. Let me explain to you. Okay. Okay. Now you have a noon, for yes. example, with the dot. Yes. You take the dot away, yes. which is the way that it was written a long time ago. That's how the Arabic language is. But now, because they want his people to actually understand that this is a noon, they put the dot so they can differentiate. How is that not an addition, bro? It's not a letter addition. How can you say, on one hand, they're adding letters to the text and Wait, then say in the, the moment, next breath they're not adding letters to the text? At the text. moment, make your mind you're up. You're trying to say at they the added moment, something, but you're you confused, changed. mate. I'm not confused. You are confused. Is this Shall I help you? No, is this how you want Shall to, I help is you? Is this how you want to convert me to your religion? No, by, no, I'm really by not. By putting doubt really into into my mind, well, I'm that shows that you're not really good well, representative you're, you're, of your brother, religion. This you is what you don't speak for my religion. religion. This is what Quran says. If you have doubts, come to us. You don't speak for my religion. I'm doing is I'm trying to tell you. Shall I help you? That to make your argument better. What has been added is not a letter, but rather a sign for you to lead. So, read the so, letter. so what? Shall I help you? Because I'll, I'll help you make you guys, your argument better. And then better. you guys continue and say you added the letter. Well, that's what you're saying. But you're saying it. That's, that's what, what you're saying, saying. Took place. No, what you're saying no took that's, place that's the words that you oh, put into addition. my mouth. No, my friend. That's what, what you're saying. No, that's the words that you put into my mouth. No, no, you said that, and everyone heard you. But let's no, try and move the I argument said, forward. Let's try and move the argument forward. Yeah, yeah, right. Sure. So. We've, we've got to this point in history where Muslims are adding letters to the text of the Quran. Okay, okay. Now, now you don't understand what I'm trying to say. No, no, I'm no, 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 I'm, I'm going, going to go through it again because you can't make your mind up whether they're being added or not. I'm going to leave since you're putting no, words no, into my mouth. No, no, let's no, try and move the argument forward. Don't run, don't run, don't run. Let's try and move the argument forward. Don't run, let's try and move the argument forward. You're not understanding what I'm saying. So what's because you're not explaining it very well. No, let's try, let's try and move the argument forward. By your own argument. Let's try and move the argument forward. There's no going forward we've if you got can't this, understand what I just said. We've got this point in history if you can't understand where Muslims of what add I just letters said, to the text then no. oh to help okay. people okay. to read it. Right? That's what he said. But that's fine. So that's what Muslims say. They add letter to the text, but they don't change the text. Anyone who understands what a textual variant is knows that that is the very definition of a textual variant. And if you don't know what a textual variant is, go and look it up. It's when you have two manuscripts that have the same text on it, but there are differences between the text, differences of letters. So if you have a script where there are no vowel signs, and then you add vowel signs, you have changed the text of your book. Now, the question then is, have you 
faithfully change the text of your book? That's the real question. So Muslims then say, ah yes, but you know, Muslims have always recited the Quran and we've always recited the Quran and because we've always recited the Quran, we know what should be in it. That's their argument. But then what we discover is around the 10th century, different Muslim reciters are reciting it differently. Wash, Hafs, Duri, they recite differently. And then their recitations are written in a written form. And those written forms are different. They have different letters and they have different words, which means that Muslims were not reciting the Quran identically. They were differences. And then to reconcile this fact, Someone ahistorically says that Muhammad revealed all of these recitations together. Now, that argument comes later. It comes after Muslims discover that their reciters have recited the Quran differently. Which means that they are ahistorically reconciling their present condition in the 10th century to make sense of their doctrine that the Quran is preserved. So in other words, it's Bidda, they're inventing their book, their book has been changed and the evidence is against their deen. Now, if the evidence leaves you out of Islam, then have the courage to follow the evidence. Because everything that Muslims claim about their religion at a fundamental level is false. Test the rhetoric against the facts and you'll find that Islam collapses. And then you have to ask yourself what to do next. The Christian faith by contrast has stood up to withering criticism of the Enlightenment for 300 years. They've attacked our Bible. They've attacked our beliefs. But our faith in the resurrection has stood firm Yes. and has stood against every attempt to disprove it because the evidence is overwhelmingly in our favour. Overwhelmingly. And those that go and inquire as to the evidence for the resurrection, many of them become Christians. So I would challenge you all, all of you who can hear my voice, to go away and put all of your emotions to one side. Put all of your ego to one side. Put all of this so-called sincerity in Islam, the sincerity of action that you claim to follow, put it into practice. And go and see if, having sincerely, objectively looked at the evidence, the belief in the resurrection stands up to scrutiny and you will find that it does. And when you find that it does, like so many other atheists, agnostics and uh, anti-Christians before you, have the courage then to become a Christian. Mm. And with that thought, I wish you good day. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. That's a good day. That's a good day. Thank you.